Octoraider Octopod, incoming Octo Report. Octo Agents, please report. Octo Report, Octo Report, Octo Report, Octo Report. Dashi reporting, Bombardier Beetles. Bombardier Beetles have a puzzling name, but it's a clue about their startling game. Inside their bodies is a burning hot juice, and if you bother them, they'll let the juice loose. One stinky acid bomb shooting out of their rear And you will not forget why they're called Bombardier If one is eaten they can do what they do Inside the stomach of a predator too Yeah! Check it out! Bombardier, Bombardier Beetles. Beetles! The mission is done Your agents prepare To follow the call to adventure anywhere Smelly. Ooh, shiver me whiskers. Where'd that come from? Us. We're Bombardier Beetles. And when we're under attack, we squirt out boiling acid like this. It's like having your own pirate cannon built right into your tails. And it has quite a smell, too. Aye. But we never attacked you. No, but they did. And he just swallowed one of us. Yeah, and now our stomach hurts. Oh, yuck. I warned you. I can squirt acid right into your stomach even for a few minutes after you swallow me. Ah, we've never met beetles who can do that before. Come on, let's go find something else to eat. <laughs> well, I guess you showed them, matey. So, you little fellas are new to this island. Yes, and we washed ashore by accident. We come from a teeny tiny island nearby. We were happy there, but then the water slowly began to rise. Our island got smaller and smaller. Then a big wave knocked us off, and our island was gone. We escaped on this log and drifted over to this island. The truth is we aren't too happy to be here. Those frogs try to eat us, but even worse, this place is crawling with spiders. Spiders? What kind of spiders? Skull spiders, of course. That's why us pirates have always called it Skull Spider Island. S Skull spiders? Why did it have to be spiders? Oh, don't worry, Quasi. I've been visiting Skull Spider Island for years. As long as you don't bother them, they won't bother you. I'm with you. This island is no place for beetles. Or cats. We need to find you another island. Shellington will be able to help us. Any luck? Still searching. Yes, there's another island nearby that has a large group of bombardier beetles living on it. Your beetles will be right at home there. Sending you the location. Thanks, matey. Problem solved. Hop aboard your log and we'll tow you there. <laughs> Wait, we can't leave without Bailey. Who's Bailey? Our scout. He went upstream looking for a safe place for us to live. Pete! Ah! Stay here and make sure everyone plays nice. Play nice, play nice. Quasi, let's go after Bailey. But, but what about the sk sk skull spiders? Ah, oh, don't worry. Like I said, they won't bother us if we don't bother them. Granddad, wait for me. modeled it after a beetle, it has a few beetle-like attachments. Like all-purpose beetle legs. Dashy, try the leg extenders. Mmm, <laughs> impressive. <laughs> I still got a few kinks to work out. Once it's all finished, this pterogup will go anywhere on land we want it to. Just like a beetle. Huh? Octonauts to the HQ. <laughs> Octo 
Agent Parney, report please. Are you all right? <laughs> Me? I'm fine. Whoa! Parney? I'm here, in the Himalayan mountains. And the snow is melting. Oh, and the water from the melted snow is making lots of mud. And the mud is sliding down the mountain. But you won't believe what I found. Oh, oh, oh gonna jump. You better come quick. Barney, out! If we're going to help Parney, we're going to need the right gup. The Himalayas have some of the tallest mountains in the world. And it gets very windy way up there. Yes, not even the Gup H can handle those strong mountain winds. I'm afraid the Octoray wouldn't do much good either. Cap, this sounds like a job for the Terra Gup 1. Uh, but it's not finished yet. A couple of special features aren't finished, but it'll drive on a mountainside just fine. And I'm ready to drive it, Captain. Keep off. All right then, Dashy, Tweak, and Tunip. To the Octoray. Octonauts. All right, are we ready to go? We are now. Good. Let's put this Terragup one to the test. Exactly like a crab. Why would a crab leave its shell behind? Let's check Shellington's creature collection. Oh, when a crab grows too big for its shell, it pops out and leaves it behind. Okay, so this shell could definitely belong to a crab, but we're nowhere near the ocean. Yeah, what's a crab doing in the desert? Let's find out. Most crabs live in the ocean, but the desert crab lives here. It lives in tunnels under the ground and only comes out at night when it's cool. But those tunnels could get flooded with water when the rain comes. We better find this crab and make sure it's safe. Let's look for holes in the ground. Maybe we can find the entrance to one of the crab's tunnels. Over here! Hello? Anybody home? Who wants to know? Uh, why are you poking around my home? We were looking for you, actually, to make sure you're safe. Uh, uh, is that rain? I've been hoping for rain. I need a puddle of water for my babies. Babies? Here they are. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Tiny crablets. I have to carry them around like this until I find a little puddle of water. They have to be born in water, but after they grow up, they can live in the sand like me. Uh, uh, oh no! But this is too much water! My home is going to flood! I've got you. It's not just raining, it's flooding. We all better get to higher ground right away. Come on, into the Terraka. It's really coming down now. I can hardly see. You're doing great, sis. We're almost to the higher ground. <gasps> oh no. Some river. It's one of the things that happens in a flash flood, and one of the reasons they can be so dangerous. Water's rising all over. <gasps> mm. 
Wait, aren't you going the wrong way? It'll soon be the right way, I promise. Hold on, everyone! Time to glide! Woohoo! I'm Captain Barnacles. I'm Matey. Come on, everyone join in. Right, let's go!